a coloring for adults video on a yoga and plant channel? Hear me out. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, my name is Rose, my pronouns are she, her. And this is actually a really random video. So if you're not into it, I'm fine with you not watching it. It's a bit of an experiment. I filmed this almost a year ago and I never actually edited it, even though it was really short. <laughs> I just wanted to really try out how it would work to film something from above and I love coloring for adults, which is why I have some books here. This is all books by Johanna Basford. Look how pretty with the embossed gold. She is such a beautiful artist and her books are literally magical. This is actually called Magical Jungle and this is World of Flowers, but she has many more and they are all botanical based. So for example, I'm working on this one, which is a little jungle hut with a like lots of leaves and stuff. Really fun to color. Some are really detailed, but then others are quite easy and you can test out different techniques and stuff. I, I think I did this with some paints and it's just, look, here's one that's finished as well really really beautiful designs which inspires me to then also color them in in a way that's not just one color per little block but making it like shaded and stuff and in this video i'm going to show you how i did whoops this opening page which is of course now done it might be a little bit boring to watch so that's why i said it doesn't matter if you're not willing to watch it all the way through that's okay <laughs> but i would love to hear what you guys think about coloring for adults if you've ever done it if you know johanna's books and at the end i will add in some footage of some other paintings or drawings or what do you call them colorings that i did from a third book that i have up here which is my favorite enchanted forest it is when i was fully into drawing i was not into <laughs> plants yet so i had more time <laughs> oh and the materials that i use i actually use a brand of can i show you no i use a brand of coloring pencils that are no longer being made but they are the best of the best my mom is an artist so she had them and she taught me about them and we've been hunting on like mark platz which is the dutch ebay version um for boxes of these pencils which are really expensive but you can still find them sometimes and they're called charisma and they're amazing. They're so, so thick and like they, they are really almost like greasy, putting out a lot of um, pigment. That's the word. A lot of pigment coming off the, off the pencils and there's so many beautiful colors and I absolutely love them, but you cannot buy them unless you go on eBay or you really, really search for them. So that's why I'm not showing you them right now. If you have any tips for coloring for adults, if you have a channel for it, please leave it below here. There's some amazing channels. Of course, my channel is mostly about plants and yoga, but I thought, why not share it for this random, random video? <laughs> Let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is write my name in it. I'm using these Stadler pens, but unfortunately they never turn out the way that Johanna makes the names look. It's just a plain and I try to, to do something fun with it, but it never turns out the cute way that I want it to. I added in some examples from Instagram from different amazing creators. Just quickly erasing the pencil background here. Johanna does have several tutorials on how to do the name thing. So if you're interested, you can check out her channel. And the weird stuff that you see here in the right corner of the screen is actually my incense <laughs> that was blowing into the screen. For the coloring of the leaves, I like to start in the corners and then slowly work it into the center and add more depth of color and more darker colors on the edges so that you get this nice fading effect. Per object that I'm working on, I like to pick several colors and put them together so that I can visualize what it's gonna look like and then do the fading and the different parts. Here I'm making the bird a nice turquoisey blue. And as you can see, I started the edge of the feathers and then work my way in, making it softer on the inside so that you get the nice fade. Here again, starting with a quite a light color, which is a good tip as well, and then slowly starting to work in the darker colors from the points or wherever you wanna work from so that it gets that nice effect. So really starting quite light 
especially on the inside of the objects and then adding more darkness around the edges. And if something has an extra layer on the outside like this leaf, I like to do it the opposite way of fading than the leaf on the inside. So I might start the leaf dark on the bottom and then start the edge of the leaf dark on the top, for example. Here there's some more turquoise leaves, which in nature don't happen very often. I guess we would call them glaucous leaves, like Pailia glauca is named after the blue glaucous sheen, but it's one of my favorite colors. So I use it often. You can see how tiny the pencil is. I actually got this pencil from my mom when I was really young. She would give me one per month or maybe per week so that we could save up because they were quite expensive. So some of them are, are tiny, tiny, as you can see here again. And I guess that means that this color was already my favorite when I was really small, which I didn't realize until now. <laughs> That's quite interesting. There's fading and then there's weird colors and details and it's just really, really fun to try. It really helped me to remember that it doesn't have to be perfect because my first few, I was like, this does not look nice at all, which wasn't very motivating, but it really helped to look up some YouTube videos about fading. Johanna actually herself has some tips and videos about how you can color in a nice way. And then it started to look a lot nicer, which made me more motivated to do it and in turn feel, feel more zen because coloring really does make you feel quite zen. I guess just like with any other creative thing or even plants or yoga it's good to look up inspiration to find it to look at beautiful photos and stuff but remember that you can do what you can do it doesn't have to look as perfect as someone else or someone who's been practicing for a long time it's for fun and that really helped me a really practical tip here is to start at the if you are right-handed like me to start at the top left corner and then work your way down so that your hand is not continuously maybe smudging the paper. If you do have something where your hand is gonna be on it, you can always use a little piece of paper underneath your hand so that it doesn't smudge the colors. But even so, going outside of the lines is never bad. Actually, if you look at some of the most amazing drawers that we have on Instagram and also here on YouTube, you will see that they kind of, they use the lines as guidelines but they kind of also ignore them completely and just make it their own, which I think is amazing. And it looks so cool. I'm so impressed with all of these people who are so creative. And I will actually link some of their channels below so that you can be inspired if you like the same kind of designs and stuff that I do, because of course, all tastes are different and that's okay. Here, just coloring the last few leaves. I'm almost there. Just a, oh, actually just the left bird and the last few leaves that I kind of made like look like a tiger. It's kind of funky with the purple points. And here's the last bird. I like to do the birds in different colors. It doesn't have to be symmetrical at all. It's fun to play around with this. And this is the end result. I try to play around with, un, which is one of my things, to do un, unexpected colors. Like when would you ever see purple? leaves not very often and also shading i think is really important like you can see here going from dark to light and two different colors which you will see a lot more of in the pages that i'm going to show you next so this was in magical jungle which is more of like the jungle vibes and this one that i'm going to show you next is enchanted forest which is a little bit more full vibes it's an awesome book i still haven't done the opening page, but you'll see a lot more owls and rabbits and stuff. Oh, and mushrooms. Here's the first painting. It's kind of a combination of materials. I did this with um, pastel. I still haven't done the, the spray, but the pastel, I don't know what you call this. Kreit. And then coloring in the details and then white gel pen to let the details stand out more you can see here so this is like a night owl with silver little stars on the next page another owly thing that actually i was a little bit disappointed because i usually do the backgrounds afterwards with the, this pastel um crayon kind of thing and it kind of messed up the colors in the rest of it so this purple is too too orange everything is a little bit too orange now i think even the little owl that was petrol is a little bit too orange. Then we have two little adorable animals. 
This one is a little bit more finished. I did this with coloring pencil first and then some gel pen details as well. And then I added the background to make it a little bit more nice and also to, to play around with backgrounds and learn from them. I think I may have done this with paint first and then something over top and the little hedgehog. Here you can see the, the fading of the colors, which is super important and the mixing, how do you say like blending is the word. This was a test with new paint pens that I had, but I don't think it turned out. <coughs> Sorry, but I don't think it turned out like nice. It's all one color per block, which kind of makes it look a little bit boring, if you know what I mean. Here's some more planty details. She loves to make little swirly things where things grow off of. Overview. Oh, look how cute. I haven't done many of these yet because it takes a lot of time. Here's some feathers that I started testing out. I think it's aquarelle paintings and stuff and using different techniques to blend the colors. Oh, and this is my favorite page. Let me zoom out for this. So this is two tree houses. I did this one first and it is like a dream world for me. There's lots of just the details really made me excited to paint this. I did the, the main thing first and I wanted to make it look non-traditional. So I made the leaves of the tree purple and the trunk of the tree green with blue. And then you see there's a little door in there that I did with gold, the gold pen, I think. And then you can see kind of inside already, like it's a door with almost like glas in load. What is the word? And then afterwards I added the background and added little stars like it was night, but the tree is kind of shining. And then here on the next page with a little fox is where you can see the inside of the tree. In my opinion, this is how I, I think about it, where there's a whole a little castle or house inside. So we have a little cat and some light, which is what, in my opinion, what is behind the tree, behind the, the tree door. And then I decided to make the background a, a sunrise. So here it's starting to get light and the beams of the sun, and then it blended into the background of the night sky here. I really, really like this one. Really happy with how it turned out still, even many years later. That was it for this one. This is one of the older books. And this is, I think, one of the newest books, which is why I haven't colored much in it yet. Did I have something to show you in here? I don't remember. No, just this. And I have about, I think, three more books upstairs from her. Hold on, this is very impractical. <laughs> So there's lots to choose from, whether you prefer flowers or a garden theme. The first book is called Secret Garden. And I will link her website below or maybe the books. If I have links to them, I will let you know in the description. That's it for this video. It's a bit random, like I said. If you did watch until here, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me your feedback about it. I am a plant and yoga channel, but I don't confine myself to those topics because it's my channel and I like to talk about what makes me happy and passionate. And sometimes that's something random like coloring books. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, even though there's, I don't know how many more of these kinds of videos are gonna be here, but stay tuned for that. And I will see you again very soon. Bye friends.